G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today I want to talk to you about this epic, I love it, invention, product from Ulanzi. It's called the U190 Fluid Head Mini Tripod, and here it is. Here is it. <laughs> now, uh, let me wrap your heads around this. When you think about uh, tripods, usually what happens is you get a ball head. Ball head looks like this. It's got a ball in a socket, and that's how it works. Fluid heads work differently. They have water inside. Water. I kid you not. There's water in here. It's a hydraulic system that pressurizes the water that enables the tripod unit to, and it's pushed to its extreme. Watch this. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, I haven't got time for it to come all the way back up, but it does come all the way back up. Now, why would you need that and not a ball head? Well, the beauty of this is when you pair it with its 200 millimeter handle, and you tighten that off, you actually have some pressure that you can tilt with. So you can put your camera on here and do a nice tilt because there's pressure now. You know, I haven't got the whoo. Gosh, where's that going? You're not having to control it. You're just allowing the fluid head to do all the work. And then it also has a pan function. So you can loosen this off just a touch and actually get some traction when you go this way as well. I know. How cool is it? So a few things that you might need to know about this. There's a bunch of knobs. The top knob. The top knob releases the bracket that looks like a full cam 38 but it's not quite but it has these two knobs that offer like a security buffer so that it doesn't just slip out so you have to actually pull it out so well played Ulanzi. you can also stick any camera you like that has an arca swiss plate in there and it, it will fit no worries at all i'll show you a little bit about that in just a moment. That's this top knob. Then this knob on the side allows you to position the handle wherever, wherever you like. So if you have a question of where you'd like the handle position, this solves the thing. It has some teeth, which means it grits in. So when you turn it, you can, and then lock it in and that's not Budging gives you full control over the fluid head. On the other side, you've got the tilt lock. So you lock this up and it won't move. And then at the bottom, you've got the pan lock, which also has a pan indicator arrow. Just see if you can see that through there, pan indicator arrow that enables you to choose what degree you'd like to move it around to. Now we're flying through this today, but I've made I've written a full review on all the parts of this, and so there'll be a link in the description below, and you can go and read to your heart's content. But this is how it works. So this is a smaller tripod that I have, and uh, it's actually a Mon Manfrotto tripod that I've never really enjoyed, and so now I love it. And you tighten this up, so you you tighten off the panning uh, knob, you tighten it up as tight as you can, and then you back off the panning knob, which gives you this sort of control. Then this this unit is two kilos. So uh, it's just shy of two kilos. This is a Nikon Z6 with a 14 to 24 wide lens. It is quite heavy. Here's a peculiar thing I've just discovered. If you don't use your bracket and you use your L bracket, it actually positions the camera so you can do this sort of tilt, which I'm not sure you'd ever need. Um, Obviously it can't tilt that way because you can't change the back here. So I'm gonna put this on now and show you what it can do. Now to help you attach the plate, it has this built in hex key just here that you can pull out. It's magnetized, cute little thing. You can just whack that in the uh, pin, screw pin on the bottom of the plate and you can tighten that up. Once it's tightened up, it just slots back in there and it's there for whenever you need it. And now we can position this correctly and you do that by tightening up the knob on the side. Watch this, this is, see this is a heavy camera. And this is what I've discovered. If your unit is over about 1.5 kilos, it's too heavy for the resistance offered in the hydraulics of the fluid head and therefore you don't get a smooth pan. But what we're gonna do for the sake of the video is I am going to turn this on, going to put it on video, and I'm going to do a, a tilt 
for you and we're going to try and do it as smooth as we possibly can and you'll be able to see how smooth it is uh, given that this is a very heavy unit if I've got a small unit the pans probably gonna be a lot smoother but uh, here we go oh it felt pretty smooth it felt pretty smooth I'm gonna tighten off the tilt and we're gonna try a pan Let's just do a bit of a pan, you get to see how rubbish my um my, my setup is here. Alright, so we'll start here. Let's just do a nice smooth pan, see if this works. Ah! Apologies. Just a shout out to you, Lanzi. Thanks for sending this to me and trusting me to represent your gear. Really appreciate it. And this is going straight into my kit. So there you go. Uh, with a lighter camera, you get a much, much smoother uh, experience. But I reckon that wasn't too bad. I won't stabilize it or do anything like that. I'll just give it to you as is. And you can see what you, you think. Um, and I think that's about all you need to know. It's a really cool little um, device and perfect for any filmmakers out there. Or if you're doing a lot of photography, you can put up to 10 kilos on this. So you don't need to worry about it falling over. And as you can see, it complements. It's got a 3 8 of an inch um, uh, female uh, connector on the bottom and it also comes with a internal um, quarter 20 so you can scale it down if you want with a little tool they supply but if you found this helpful please subscribe thank you so much for the thumbs up which I know you're going to give now <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video bye what am I doing I didn't get that could you try again oh it wasn't really involving you, Siri. I was just trying to make a video. Do you mind? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, I know, I know.